Hello everybody, I'm Dan. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your first C program that will simply output Hello World to the console. So the first thing is, uh, first thing we want to do is just go ahead and open up our web browsers to my website, thegpu.com. We'll select Learn More and come down to the C Tutorials. I'm going to select Hello World and basically the simple program will display Hello World to the console. Now don't worry, you won't need to understand everything about this program just yet. As you progress throughout the tutorials, you will gain a better understanding how the C language is structured. Now, before continuing with this tutorial, make sure that you have GCC installed and configured properly. And you can see my tutorial on installing a C compiler for that. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and kind of move this browser off screen and we'll just start, start uh, jumping right into this. So, I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right-clicking, selecting New, Shortcut, CMD, Next, and Finish. It's just that easy. Let's open it up. First thing you want to do is type in GCC. You should see this, this exact error message happen right there. That means you've got GCC configured properly. If not, watch my tutorial on configuring it properly. Just CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, backslash tells it to go through. I'm going to use a command MD, which is short for make directory here, and I'm going to call this one cdemo. Okay? Now, I already have this folder, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. CD to change directories to the cdemo folder. Now I'm going to make a directory here called uh, hello world. Okay? And we'll change directories to the hello world folder. And by the way, I'm hitting tab on my keyboards after I start typing like CD and then H, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in Notepad, or you can use your favorite text editor. And in, later on in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this on both uh, Raspberry Pi and Mac. We're going to type in hello.c. C conventions basically dictate that you want to name your file names all in lowercase and end them with a C for sure. You just want to have the .c, and that's the only thing that's like 100% there. So uh, let's go ahead and hit enter on that. Now what I'm going to do, to save some time, because you'll watch me type this stuff in uh, via Raspberry Pi and the other stuff, I'm just going to highlight this and copy the source code here. And we'll just come over here and paste it. Okay. Now don't worry about what all this stuff does yet. I will go over in future tutorials on what everything does here. But we just want to come up here and save this. Come back to the DOS prompt here. If I go directory, right, which is DIR, you can see that I've got this uh, hello.c file. It's 88 bytes long, and of course it contains this source code up here. Now I'm going to type in gcc minus hello.c. This is the very basic uh, um, command that you have to do to, in order to compile this here. And so the argument, oh, I didn't want this minus on there, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking. So gcc hello.c. Okay, and we're just passing the first argument as the file name that we want to compile. And if we hit enter, what will happen is if there's no error messages, it'll just return us back to the prompt again there. If I type in dir, we're going to see a file here called a.exe, and that's what it names stuff by default there. So if we run a.exe, right, we can either do it by typing in the full name, we'll get hello world displayed to the console as we expected, or you can just type in a. Now that's not all that great to have this file name called a.exe because that's, yeah, that's not, not exactly what we want. So from the command line options, we're going to do gcc, and the first argument we'll pass it in as hello.c, and then we're going to put this minus o in here, which is short for output, okay? And then we're going to give it the name of the file that we want to output, and we're just going to call this hello, and we don't need to put the exe extension on there. So now if we press enter there and we run another directory there, you can see it just created a file called hello.exe. So that's how we can change the output uh, of our file name there. And if we just do a, I'm just going to do a quick clear screen there and uh, hello.exe or just plain old hello, right? So we get our hello world displayed to the console, which is what we were expecting. Okay, so that'll pretty much do it for the Windows based stuff there. I'm going to just go ahead and minimize that, minimize this. I'm going to pull over my my Mac here, and there we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to come down here, let's move that off screen. I'm just going to open up my terminal, and um, Linux commands are a little different than DOS commands. They're pretty similar there, but we're going to use uh, mkdir, which is short for make directory, cdemo, 
right? And then I'm going to change directories to the C demo folder. And then I'm gonna uh, make dir hello, hello world, right? And then we're gonna change directories to the hello world folder. I'm going to use the uh, touch command, touch hello dot C, right? And if we do an LS instead of a dir, right? Uh, you'll see it created a file called hello.c. Now I'm just going to do open hello.c, okay, for our editor up here, and we'll just type all this stuff in from the other stuff there. So we want to include uh, standard io.h, it's a header file there, and then we're going to do int main, which is our main method here, and it's going to be a void parameter and don't worry about all this stuff that I'm just kind of rambling off there. It really doesn't matter yet. I will go into all, everything in future tutorials. Okay, we're gonna display hello world with an exclamation and the slash n is for a new line basically and we're going to return zero. Alright. Um, I think that'll pretty much do it there. Now what we're going to do um, is type in gcc hello.c okay and now if we do an ls for the directory there you'll see it created an a dot out okay and that's what it does in linux there in order to execute that we do dot slash a right uh dot out okay and then we get hello world now, of course, this a dot out is just probably not what we want to call this here. So we're going to do GCC. First uh, argument will be hello dot C, and then of course minus O again, and we're just going to call this hello. Okay. All right. Now, if we do an ls for the directory listing again, you can see we've got our our new file there. Hello, hello dot C, and our a dot out. So if we do dot slash hello, right there, we get our hello world. So that's kind of how you can follow along with these tutorials if you're running a Mac there as well. Um, on the on my website, I'll always have like just basically the Windows stuff there. But if you wanna, that's how you can do it in in the Mac there. All right, let's go ahead and close out of that. Bring this off screen and just one more thing to show you guys there. We'll pop into the Raspberry Pi. We'll open up Terminal here. All right, uh, same thing. Since this is a Linux-based operating system on Raspberry Pi, we're gonna make directory C demo. All right, change directories to C demo. Uh, make make dir um, hello world change directories to hello world and we are going to use leafpad leafpad hello dot c all right just basic text editor here include h right and C is a, a case sensitive language. If I did, for example, something like int main, right? We're gonna have a problem. This needs to be a lowercase main. Wait for the type, all right, and printf. Printf just happens to be a function that displays stuff to the console there. <clears throat> And this is our new line. And if none of this makes sense, don't worry about it. Turn zero. Once again, I will explain everything in future tutorials. All right, so we got that saved. Let's go ahead and just close, close out of this. Once again, gcc hello.c. Uh, if we do an ls here, right, you can see we've got our file a.out. We can do a dot slash a.out to run that. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the compiler command hello.c minus o for output and hello for the file name let's do an ls again to list it there now we've got our, our file name that we want there and there we are okay so that basically gives you an example on how you can run everything on um, you know uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux based. And of course, these Raspberry Pis, they're just little $35 computers. So yes, for very, very inexpensive, you can learn C. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of that, close out of that. And uh, really, that'll about do it for this tutorial. Just want to leave you guys with some final thoughts. So uh, once again, everything that I went over here is on the website there. Uh, of course, I go into a little bit more detail. Um, than, uh, than what I've got up here there. But uh, 
Basically, don't worry if the code and or terminal commands don't make sense. I will go over everything in detail in future tutorials. The primary goal of this tutorial was to give you a little taste of how C works and to make sure that you have everything configured properly. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.